set up. Oh my god. This is a. It's not the guppy. And this is very orange survival bob color. So we are gonna have to get this thing just for survival bob. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and this is the Pioneer Expedition Redux, the second run at it. If you haven't completed it before, you can complete it now and get your golden vector. And I was trying to, when I left you guys, I was trying to get a, uh, my cool guppy, my exotic guppy. I came back to the system. I made a ton of money. As you can see, I have 24 million dollars ready to go ready to go i've been waiting for it for a long time i'll tell you that it's been a couple of hours i'm getting kind of tired of waiting but the other thing i've noticed is if you go to phase four you actually get an s-class ship if you buy an a-class so if you buy an a-class ship they will give you an s-class ship that is amazing so we should do that totally we should do that so now, instead of buying the guppy, I'm going to buy just an A-class. That way I can get an S-class as a gift. The other thing is, you can also get a, uh, a new multi-tool, or you get a multi-tool expansion slot if you get an A-class multi-tool, as you can see right there. So we got a whole bunch of stuff to buy. I have a ton of money, so let's buy some stuff. Well, let's see. What are these guys? That's a B-class. We need an A. We need an A. That's another B one. Okay. What is this guy right here? That's a C class. That's not going to help us, man. Of course. Now, you guys don't know this, but I've been sitting here waiting for my guppy to come in. I've seen a ton of A class ships come in, but because they were not the guppy, I was like, oh, I don't need it. I'm looking for the guppy. I'm looking for the guppy. I am such an idiot. That's a B class. Now that I know, of course, now that I know it's going to only give me B classes. Dang it. All right. Well, as you can see, I kind of got weak. I did buy this Explorer. This is my, this is my ship. Let me, let me go over to, oh, my, my menu right here. Boom. I did get this Explorer. I like it because it's symmetrical and it looks really cool. It looks like a little, like a, a little fighter dog. I like that. So I got this one. It's only a B class, so I wasn't really paying attention. I should have gotten an A class, but then I would have gotten the milestone. It would have ruined the whole playthrough. You know what I, we know what I'm talking about. But anyway, so that is what I'm doing right now. Now. If you guys didn't see the first two episodes, number one, you can go back. You can always go back and check them out. But number two, we sold a whole bunch of ionized cobalt. If I showed you guys how to farm it, how to do the cobalt expansion, and that is how I ended up with as much money as I have. So I cleaned out my exosuit. I, clean, I cleaned it up, moved some stuff around a little bit, and then I made sure I organized, you know, got all my money, my $24 million. That way we're good. My, my starship is kind of cleaned up. I also bought some multi-tool expansions here. I should have waited till I got my uh, my A-class multi-tool, but that's okay. That's okay. I did get this organized a little bit. I bought, a, uh, I bought some upgrades here. I maxed it out. I moved some stuff around. So we should be doing okay, right? I only have 82 nanites, so we're going to have to get some more nanites for this. But I'm doing okay. We're doing okay. Now we just have to wait for... Our awesome A-class, so let's do that real quick. Oh, God. This is never going to happen. You know it's because I'm waiting, right? 346 minutes later. Well, wouldn't you know it? The first A-class that comes in afterwards is the same Explorer as mine. It's just now an A-class version. Oh, we're going to take this one. So I don't mind that at all. Let's do it. Let's uh buy it, make an offer on a ship. Let's do it. Now, he has some cool stuff. We're going to negotiate the price. Now, to make it cheap, as cheap as possible, I can just move all my stuff over. So, that's what I'm going to do. Let's quick transfer all the stuff over. Now, I haven't upgraded this thing yet. It does have some upgrades in it, but I have not upgraded it myself. Those all came with it. So, we're going to exchange it. That way, I keep the same one. There we go. The good ship. Yes. So, let's accept our reward. Because we go into our expedition tab, of course. Reach. Oh, no, no. It's going to be in number four. Yep. Phase four. Collect it. Han Matan OQ5. I'm guessing Han. Look at this one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I hate this. The one thing, the one thing I hate about this one is that it's so tall. You can't really see uh, past it because the head is so big on it. I'm going to keep it, though. Or I'm going to claim it. It is an S-Class, so yes. Yes, we're going to claim that one. We got it. Oh, yeah. That's not mine anymore. This one's mine. 
And the one bad thing is you cannot switch your ship when you're in the space station. Oh man, look at it. This one looks so cool. I wish I had an upgrade for this one. All right, but we need to keep going. We need to reach that second rendezvous. So let's see if we can keep going. Boom, hyperdrive has no fuel in it. Oh, he sold me one with no fuel in it? Come on, how cheap can you be? He sold me a ship with no fuel? Come on, dude. All right, all right, you know what? I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it anyway, even though there's no fuel in it. Let's go, let's move some stuff around real quick, real quick. Boom. Yeah, we'll just move these up here, that way they're out of the way. Now we're gonna have to make five of those. Let's make five antimatter. That way we have a full, uh, a full gas tank, basically. A full tank of gas for warping. Done. Now let's try that again. Now let's see what we could do here. We can follow that line, or if you want to, you can press B. And you can kind of see, okay. I'm gonna go all the way down here. Oh god, that is 300 light years away. But yeah, we can't jump that far because we don't have an upgraded hyperdrive. But we can jump one at a time. And see, maybe, possibly, we can get one. We'll definitely stop by the space stations and get our cool uh, upgrades. Uh, also, what other what other uh, milestones we have to get to as well? We gotta, you know, this is all gonna be, whoa! There's no way, there's no way. They're just giving me, look at this thing. All right, that's okay. Let's see if we can save this thing. Let's see, and it's gonna cost way more than I have, but we'll check it out, we'll check it out. Just to see. It only has five pirates protecting it, and usually that'll tell you how good it is, or five uh, uh, pirates attacking it, I should say. Not protecting, attacking. So the more pirates you get attacking a freighter, the higher level it's gonna be, because, you know, a higher level means they need more pirates, right? Oh, look at this guy, come on. He wants me to shoot the, uh, freighter. It's a lime green freighter, okay. Got that one. Let's get this guy. Oh yeah, we got him. We got him. We're good. Alright, so there's two more somewhere? Possibly? Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, two more guys right over here! Or one guy, okay. I thought that was two, but it was only one. Where's the other guy at? There you are. Making my job easy. All right, so this is a lime green uh, freighter. As you can see, let me look. Let me see this. Let me show you guys. Look at that lime green. Holy cow, that is a pretty bright green uh, freighter. Let's just land on it and see what it is. Let's just see what this thing is. I have a feeling it's gonna be too good for me, too expensive for my- my budget. We can only spend 23 million, and usually freighters are really expensive, like 50, 60, 100 million dollars, so... This one is an A-Class! Three- 33! Oh my god, this is a really good one! But it costs 128 million, there's no way, I need a hundred- extra hundred million, uh, bucks. Let's see, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna- I'm gonna come up here just to look at it, because there's no way I can afford this thing. Come on! Maybe he'll take pity on me and he'll just give it to me. He'll just say, yeah, we know you took the first one because you were dumb, Jason, but... Here, take the second one, because we- we take pity on you. I have a feeling they, they're not, though. Alright. Inspect the freighter. Oh, look at it! It is so good, too! Look at this thing! Look at this thing! Let's compare. Yeah, exchange. 124 million. I look at that. My freighter's only worth 4 million. His is worth 128. Oh. No way. Not in a million years. I should have saved more money. I wasn't expecting to do this though. Uh, I'm sorry. I want to, Captain Bogernome. I want to so bad. But I don't have enough money. I only got 25. You need 128. Woo! That's okay. This was a good one. At least now we know. At least now we know that they are constantly giving me freighters. Which is a good thing. 
And you also know that as soon as I have enough money to do it, they will stop giving me free freighters. <laughs> or stop giving me, freighters will stop showing up. They'll just be like, nah, you really don't need a freighter really, right? Let's head on in. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Let's get in here. We also need to see what we can do. Let's see our expedition tab. What are we supposed to be doing in the second level? Phase two. Rendezvous. Farm plants. Okay. Discover a new system. That's hard. Enter a black hole. And visit a red star. All right. So we need to visit a red star, star which means we need a uh, cadmium upgrade. Do we know how to make that yet? I don't think we do. We're going to need to get some nanites, you guys. So what you can do is you can farm uh, ships for parts. What you can do is you can just farm it out. So buy a ship and scrap it because they will give you upgrades. Like, the higher the uh, the ship level, the better the upgrade. So if you buy an A-class, you'll get A-class upgrades. Sell those for nanites and you're good to go. Let's see. Do we have anything good? Before you guys take off, don't, don't, don't leave. I need a good one. That's a C-class. That's a C-class. Nothing good here. Okay. Everyone good just left, I'm, I'm, I uh, imagine. <laughs> Everyone that had a really good ship just left. <sighs> That's okay. That's okay. Come on. 60,000. Yep, yeah, we'll take that one. Anyone landing in here? Nope, I think I came in too late. That's fine. That's fine. And I don't have any nanites to buy upgrades. I only have 82 nanites. Actually, speaking of that, there is a milestone for getting nanites, right? I think so. Oh, yes, look at that one. It's in phase three. We have to get 2,000 nanites, and we're already, we're already at 1,800. So we just need about 200 more, and we could totally get that by getting these uh, orange cubes. Oh, of course, you give me a navigational data that time. Any other time I'm looking for nav data, they won't give it to me. But man, when I want the nanites... That's how it always happens. S-Class! S-Class fighter! Let's buy this thing. Oh, sir. I want your ship. It's an S-Class. I didn't know we had S-Classes here! Yes! Alright, make an offer on the ship. Look at that. It's an S-Class! I'm not a big fan of this, uh, the front end. I don't know why. I don't like that thing. The wings are cool. I like the wings. The engine is amazing. I love the single really big old engine in the back. That's what I like. Uh, we're not going to trade my current one for it. We're just going to buy it. So we'll spend 18. This is our main ship now. We can scrap this baby and get some upgrades. And sell those upgrades and make some nanites. So let's do that. We're about to get our nanite milestone. So this is what you would normally do. Especially if you can find an S-Class. You're really lucky. Let's claim it. And especially if you don't want it. Some people, they want that S-Class. I already got an S-Class. Let's claim it. Boom. And we're good. Boom. It was going to be all that stuff in my inventory. So now it goes back to my original. Oh, no, no. There it goes. Boom. There it goes. See, it took a second to load up. But I have all these. Oh, I got storage augmentations. Let's put that in there. Boom. We're going to get a whole bunch of storage augmentations. Wow. I got five upgrades. Whoa. Five upgrades on that thing. That was good. C class, a B class, that's pretty good. We're looking for an A though. We really want an A class. That's a C class as well. That's a cool looking uh, hauler. Okay, so are any of those upgrades a uh, hyperdrive? Uh, phase beam, photon cannon, starship shield, infraknife, and uh, positron ejector module. All right, nothing I really want. I'm only looking for a hyperdrive upgrade. So let's sell to the uh, ship guy. Let's sell. We're going to go in here. We're going to sell some. Go to purchase it first, but you can always switch it to a sell. There we go. Boom. Now we're going to buy. Let's see what we can buy here. Nothing. He doesn't have any S-Class upgrades. Wow, you're killing me. You're killing me. But we got our cluster hoarder for 2,000 nanites. Yes. Let's see. You got any cool upgrades for me for my uh, multi-tool? Let's see what do you got. What do you, what do you have? What do you have? What do you have? You have... A scanner module. I have all my scanners pretty good. Pull spitter. Okay. Nothing I really want. So yeah, we're good. We're good. We made it. We made a ton of nanites. We need to get a hyperdrive module, but you know what? I'm okay with that. Oh yeah, we need to accept our reward. Let's do that phase three. Collect our reward. 
I got five million bucks, rusted metal, and runaway mold. Well, we can turn runaway mold into uh, nanites. Not very many because it takes a lot of them, but let me show you this. Um, let me get into my uh, runaway mold. There it is. So if you put it in here, it takes five runaway mold to make one nanite. So out of the 256 runaway mold, I'm going to get 51 nanites. That is not a good turnover, you guys. I mean, it's better than nothing. That's why I'm doing it, but not a good one overall. And while we're waiting for another pilot to come in here, let's see what we could do with uh, the things we just got. Let's sell some of the stuff. So we're going to sell all the upgrade parts, like the tank of coolant. You can't do anything with that. Uh, we're going to sell the superconductor for one and a half million. Yes. Compressed indium scraps. Yes. Activated cadmium. We can turn that into a chromatic metal if we wanted to. I'm going to sell it for the money because I need the money right now. Recycled circuitry. Rusted metal. We don't need this. Get it out of here. All right. Done, done, done. Whoa, is that a... Oh, my God. This is a... It's not the guppy. And this is very orange survival bob color. So we are going to have to get this thing just for survival bob. It's an S-Class. Let's see how much it costs. I didn't pay attention because I was so excited. I didn't want it to leave. Let me go to the price. Oh, it's only worth 12, just like the last one. So, yes, we're going to buy it. We can exchange. You know what? We're going to exchange it. Screw it. We're going to exchange this baby. And boom, boom. Ex exchange it. What? 11 million. We'll save a little bit of cash. That's okay. So, yes. The Mistress of Sleep. <laughs> That's pretty good. But it's not going to be the Mistress of Sleep for very much longer. We have to, of course, name this. Oh, yeah. Go to the pencil. We have to, of course, name this the Mistress of Bob. The Mistress of Survival Bob. Boom. There you go. Because it's that orange Bob color. And... I'm going to make sure this is going to be the one we uh, we upgrade. I could upgrade my other one. I wonder. Can I even look at the stats of my other ship? No. Hyperdrive is pretty good on it. It's better than the one I used to have. But we can make it better. Got to get some up, up, uh, upgrades. Oh, man. I can't even talk. I'm so excited. Upgrade the starship. Yes. You could scrap it if you want to. I don't want to scrap it because I just spent two hours looking for the other guppy. And I got the orange one here. So let's apply the augmentations we've gotten so far. That way we can make a little bit more room in our inventory. Apply. There you go. Starship inventory size increased. Now it's worth a heck of a lot more. Look at this guy. There you go. All right. All right. We are having a good... This episode is going a whole lot better than the last one. Last one was not fun at all. This one is going awesome. I love it. Let's put all the like stuff together. That way we can make more room in our inventory. Oh, yeah, I need to make more hyper. Why is it that they only give you empty hyperdrive fuel? Look at this thing. It's empty again. Again. You guys are murdering me with this whole I got to make keep making freaking hyperdrive fuel. I've refilled my uh, my inventory like a million times with uh, with uh, warp cells. Good lord! Oh, dang it! All right, all right. There we go. We're good. I don't want to complain too much because this is a really good ship. All right. Let's take up. Oh, look at my guy came right back in. I like it. He came right back with my ship. That's okay though. I don't want it. I like the exotic a lot better. So let's see how how far we can go. Can we go more than one? We got one. Oh, we can't because it's 144. Dang it. That's okay. That's okay. Let's see if they sell some uh, hyperdrive upgrades in here. We'll also upgrade our inventory and get to that second rendezvous. We are tearing up the milestones. Now, we're not doing it all in the phases. We're actually just going by the easiest ones to get first. And we'll knock them out slowly, but surely we'll get there. We will get there. Let me, let me get some uh, pulse driving. Oh, it's probably my, uh, my guys who are at the settlement. Let's see. It's probably the settlement. Yep, it says... Yep, I can't even read that. Input this, this life form is in great distress. Their broadcast contains a set of coordinates. Yep, probably for the... Yep, nearby planet. That is the settlement. 
So you can go do that if you want to. I mean, it happens at a random interval if you don't have a settlement. If you already have a settlement, you probably won't run into a emergency broadcast like that. But if you don't have a settlement, they will randomly hit you with that during the game. So you could just totally wait for one if you wanted to. Let's get in here. We can organize our uh, our fuels as well. I like to have my fuel over here. My metals at the bottom over here. And then, you know, kind of disperse everything else around. I, I like the guppy, but Mistress of Bob, Mistress of Survival Bob, we're going to have to keep that one. That's going to be our, uh, our number one ship for now. Let's get over here. You have any hyperdrive upgrades? That way it makes it easier and faster for me to go somewhere. Come on. Come on. Um, photon, infra knife, pulse engine, launch thruster. We can get a launch thruster and a pulse engine, but I'm looking. Yeah, we'll do that because we still have enough left over to get a hyperdrive upgrade if we wanted to. Okay. So yeah, we're going good. We're going good. Get that upgrade. Just to make some room in our inventory. Exosuit 70. Yes, we'll do that. And let's see. I'm going to be slow about this because maybe another exotic will fly in. And I'll be lucky to get two exotics in a single, you know, run today. That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? All right. We don't have very much room, do we? No, we don't. All right. So what we're going to do is we'll put this one right over here. And launch thruster. Oh, yeah. Well, that's definitely going to go in here. Got it. So pulse engine. That way they're together. Photon cannon can go over here. Boom. There we go. Now we're getting pretty good. Minus 20% uh, launch cost, and this one is minus 20. So we're already subtracting 40% out of the uh, the ship cost. Nothing really. All right, nobody. Oh, nope, that's a shuttle. Okay. I, I figured that, you know, they're going to show up with the uh, exotic as soon as I leave. All right, one more hop, and we're at the... Uh, come on, where is it at? With my second... Uh, am I not, do I not have it marked? I do have it marked. Reach the second rendezvous. What's going on here? There it is. Okay. I don't know why it just all of a sudden didn't want to mark it for me. There we go. So let's get to that second rendezvous. This is going to be good. And then we'll get an upgrade. Hopefully an upgrade. Let's see. Maybe. Maybe get an upgrade from the uh, space station. Let's see. Where's the space station at? Right here. Should be close to us. There it is. So we know that the uh, the rendezvous is going to be here. You going to show it to me? Come on. Come on. Where's my... Uh... It's not liking it. All right. Wait a minute. My log. Oh, yeah. You got to remember. Go to your uh, expedition. Duh, man. I don't know why it will do that. But, yeah, if you get a new mission, all of a sudden it says, Oh, you don't want to go with the one you're doing, right? You want to you wanna track the new mission we just gave you at random. No, I like my old mission. Come on. So now we're doing that. Complete phase two. Go to... And then... Oh, yeah, wait. wait let me highlight it. Got so many tabs, we got to highlight. There we go. Reach the second rendezvous. It is so weird how the mission stuff is set up. It'll untrack it. It'll change your tracking. It's like, oh, come on. That's okay, though. That is an update they could fix. That's something they could fix later on. So we're good. We're good. We're okay with that. And I'm doing my general inventory because I want to make sure there's it's cleaned out. I'm going to use my free upgrades for my cargo and my technology. I'm going to use my cost ones for my general inventory. Let's see. Anything? Phase beam. Phase beam. No hyperdrive? Come on. I mean, they give you an A. I'll, I'll take an A. A will help out. So we'll take the A. I'd rather have an S, but I'll take the A. All right. Look at that blue ball hauler. That's, that should be Bob's right there. Blue ball hauler. All right. Let's keep going while we're doing that. Let's install this one. Boom. There we go. So now we get an extra 152 light years, and it's a little bit more efficient, so you're not using so much uh, gasoline, so much fuel, not gasoline, fuel, to get there. All right, 30 seconds. Well, we're doing pretty good. Ah, look at that. It used, I did what, jumped once or twice? I think I jumped once, and it used 60% of my fuel. <laughs> Holy cow. 
That's all right. Launch thrusters are uh, more efficient, so we won't need as much as that. Let's actually make some more. Uh, let's make some more of these. One, two, three, four, five, five. Got it. Just to make sure we have it. I'm not going to put it in there because it's not going to... Actually, you know what? It doesn't need that much. Let's see what it takes for 60%. You need two warp cells for 60%. Okay, so they do 20% per warp cell? Okay. Why am I going to the small settlement? No, no, no. We're going over here to the rendezvous. Why are you trying to go to a different mission here? This exotic, man. You're not paying attention to it. It tries to do something else. Let's go. We'll get to that second rendezvous. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people ask for the location of the second rendezvous or all the rendezvous planets because, you know, sometimes you want to go back and see. Like, a lot of people, they obviously, they made a lot of cool uh, farms. I'm guessing. Are you making some farms? Is these, are these farms? Arcadian Night, Out Night Outpost. Uh, basis. I don't even know what that meant. Um, okay. Banana Republic. Oh, uh, you know what? I'll take the Banana Republic. That sounds like it's going to be a place to get a lot of bananas, right? Maybe? Possibly? I could be wrong about that. I could be wrong. Up oh, too far. Too far. You go up to the atmosphere to go faster, but if you're too close to it, you overshoot. I don't even know what that is. A-N-L-E-Y-C? We're going to land on it, though. This is a nice planet. I like the orange. It goes with my ship. <laughs> with the sur Mistress of Survival Bob. Is it not going to show me anything? Where am I supposed to go? Too weak for... Oh, okay. Never mind. It was too weak for me to actually do anything. Well, this is a good test. To see what kind of fuel it takes. Oh, 84. It only took 16% fuel. All right, I'm here. What else do you want? What else do you want from me? Let's land. It's going to be a building nearby. I'm guessing it's going to be another planetary archive, but not positive on that, that front. All right, too weak. It might be killing me on this. I know that they, uh, sometimes it freaks out and the emission marker isn't where it needs to be. That's what it says. All right, let's see. Let's see. Oh, God, that guy's a freaky looking guy. What is this? Look at his feet. He has like three long toes. Woo. And that gave me 300,000. That's why you want to do that. Holy cow. All right, this way, this way. Thank God I have a lot of fuel in my uh, ship. That way I don't have to worry about uh, coming all the way back here. I can just call it back. All right, let's get some money out of here while we're doing all of this. Come on! All right, we're going this way. I'm guessing we're all the communication stations. No, nope. Two hours, 16 minutes. That's not it. Um, what does this even say? Uh, the Lone Buddha base. Okay, farm, 23 minutes away. That is one of the things we need to do. We need to pick up a whole bunch of plants, right? So we need to farm a whole bunch of stuff. We could totally do that. That's why I love the community, you guys. Pay attention, especially on these planets. Even if you're playing offline, like, technically, all my multiplayer and everything is turned off. Now, you still have to have an internet connection because the uh, No Man's Sky servers need to populate the farm. But if someone uh, actually builds a farm and uploads it, even if you're playing single player, like, look at my options. I have my network settings disabled. Oh, I need to change that to invite only. But my multiplayer is disabled, but it's still showing you bases. As long as you have an internet connection and it's connected to your console or your PC, you will still get to the No Man's Sky servers and they will show you all everyone's bases. And so that is an awesome, awesome thing. I love it. Let's see. Get an upgrade. Come on. Give me an upgrade. Something good. Oh, nanites. I'll, you know what? I'll take nanites. I don't want to be greedy. I'll take nanites. All right. 
Do I see it? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it is a planetary archive. Okay. Oh, banana base. I'm guessing they call it banana base because it's an orange or yellow uh, planetary archive. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like it. I like that. Let's get in here. Just to see. Oh, Fecium. We don't need it yet, so I will put that away for now. And we got nanites. You know what? Nanites are not a bad thing. We're going to scan some animals. That way I can get some money. Because we're making tons of money. 352. So we've made it, what, to 800,000? Almost a million? Just scanning animals and stuff? That is what you want to do. Making tons of money just scanning stuff. Come on. 69. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Let's get over here. Oh, I don't have an upgraded... Uh, s I don't have, still don't have my upgrade for my mining laser. Dang it. Sodium. We don't need sodium, but thank you. Let's get in here. There we go. Rendezvous 2. Reach the second rendezvous. Let's collect our reward. Up, oh, go to your expedition tab as always. Thousand nanites, inventory slots times three, a multi-tool expansion, and storage. Aug so you get a whole bunch of augmentations for your storage and stuff. I like it. There you go. Cargo is getting upgraded. I like it. And we can we can ex uh, expand our storage for our ship as well and our multi-tool. Is there? A, I don't know. I don't think there's a multi-tool uh, box up here on a planetary archive. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's not. Dang it. All right. That's okay. You know what? You can't win them all. But I can call in my ship. Let's see it. I should have a navigational data, right? No, come on. Can I do it? Here you come. Mistress, I love it. So heck yeah, you guys. I think we did a lot. Oh, look at this one coming in. Look at those gull wings. I like, I'm a sucker for the gull wings, you guys. You know that. If it's a good one, we, we might have to get it. It's a B class. It's not that, it's a triple thruster. Never mind. I like the wings. The wings are really cool. But the triple thruster and the class, the, uh, the fact that it's a B class, eh, it's okay. And then there's a shuttle. All right, yeah, we are definitely going to call it there. So hopefully you guys liked the second episode. We got lucky. We got our exotic. We got the mistress of survival, Bob. So hopefully you guys like it, and I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.